2019 Mercedes-Benz G-Class. Looks old but drives new. The casting of the Mercedes-Benz Jelen Walken in 2015's Jurassic World was appropriate for more reasons than just the vehicle's ruggedness and suitability for shuttling Hollywood stars through mud. Introduced in 1979, and largely unchanged since, the G-Wagon is a dinosaur. Fittingly, it appeared in the most fantastic installment yet of the sci-fi series, in which scientists created a new dinosaur. Because for the first time in almost 40 years, Mercedes-Benz has finally messed with the Jeep class's DNA. What's the new look soul? Oh, don't worry too much. Just look at the pictures. While the 2019 model is comprehensively re-engineered, only the door handles, the spare tire cover, and the headlight washer nozzles are shared with its predecessor, it still looks very much the same. The edges are softer now and the roof pillars are a bit thicker, but all of the important GQs are there, the awkward trim strips encircling the body, a spare tire hanging off the massive side hinged rear portal, square cut doors, now with rounded edges, with exposed hinges, a clamshell hood, and marker lights on top of the fenders. Without seeing the old and new side by side, most people will be hard pressed to identify many differences. Heck, casual observers will go on thinking it's unchanged. Although it wasn't installed on any of the Europe market vehicles we drove for this first exposure, the brush guard will still be standard in the United States. And in addition to the G's Lego work silhouette, the most important mechanical parameters remain, there's still a ladder frame, and the truck still has three locking differentials. A stretch. Mercedes reapportioned the G's new length to gain an extra 1.5 inches of leg room up front and a massive 5.9 inches more in the rear. Whereas all people had trouble getting comfortable behind the wheel in the old truck and found the rear seat hopeless, now even our 99th percentile editor was perfectly comfortable in any seat. And the G's upright profile means headroom is never an issue. Mercedes says the seats are ergonomically designed, which is a huge upgrade from how you'd describe the same pieces in its predecessor. Those felt like they were carried over items from the original 1979 G-Class, when the sales brochure might have described them as something to sit on, the way an overturned bucket or any high rock will do when the only alternative is standing. The optional active multi kinter seat package will allow massages while off-roading, and the whole range of interior materials is now modern Mercedes. Mercedes claims a 375-pound weight reduction thanks to extensive computer modeling of components and systems to determine where to shave mass. The body shell is steel, while the fenders, doors, and hood are aluminum. A laser-welded roof panel and an underhood brace connecting the tops of the damper mounts, much like a unibody strut tower brace, help increase torsional rigidity by 55% and reduce levels of NVH. Although even with the windshield tilted back ever so slightly, there's still lots of wind noise around the A-pillars at freeway speeds. And if you hear strut tower brace and think of the Dany aluminum or carbon fiber X's under the hood of a sports car, know that this brace is thick enough to serve beauty as part of a roll car. Better on, better still off. While the independent front suspension goes a long way toward taming the G's ride, and the sturdier ladder frame helps keep its center of gravity low, the G is still a tall, narrow truck. It doesn't lean in corners nearly as much as its positively nautical predecessor, but the tires start squealing early and surrender to understeer shortly thereafter. Adjustable dampers are optional on the G550 and standard on the G63. The AMG also gets front and rear anti roll bars that make for a slightly sportier box. Switching the dynamic dampers into firmer settings in either version buys fractionally more cornering ability, but you're always aware of the G's towering height and its off road mission. That's a mission the G, as always, completes unerringly. AMG was involved in the development of the new G class from the beginning, and so the difference between the two versions of the truck is less dramatic now than it was in the past. Previous AMGs sat lower than their counterparts, a seemingly contradictory upgrade to an off-road vehicle, but that's no longer the case. Ground clearance for both models is 9.5 inches, with 7.3 inches of travel for the independent front suspension and 8.8 .8 inches for the live axle rear. At 30.9, 29.9, and 26.0 degrees, the approach, departure, and breakover angles all increase about 1 degree compared with the outgoing G but none of those figures can match the importance of the three locking differentials and the unrivaled traction they provide. Together with a low range that has nearly half again the reduction of the previous gear, 
2.93 to 1 compared with 2.10 to 1, those lockers mean the G is always working. We saw indicated 60 plus degree inclines and declines repeatedly during an off-road demonstration, scrambling up loose rock and dirt like it was asphalt, and stopping and reversing back up hills to show both. So long as it isn't high center, the G feels as if it can't get stuck. Driving Forces if AMG's involvement means that all G wagons have a little bit of asphalt or bucking them, the theme continues in the engine room, where both the G550 and the G63 now pack twin turbo 4.0 liter V8 tests backed by a 9 speed automatic. The G550's engine is unchanged from last year's, making 416 horsepower and 450 pounds to foot of torque. In place of its previous twin turbo 5.5 liter V8, the G63 now packs a hotter version of the 4.0 liter cranked up to 577 horsepower and 627 pounds to foot of torque, increases of 14 and 66 over the larger engine. When it debuted in 1979, the original G offered 71 horsepower. Both variants still dump their exhaust ahead of the rear wheels, but the G550's tips are tucked out of sight behind the side steps, whereas the G63's twin tip spoke out proudly. Both setups produce the rollicking V8 waffle so central to the modern G's identity, with a flap in the AMG's pipes allowing the choice of higher or lower volumes under light loads. After a few hours we might go for the quiet mode, but when you're approaching a stone wall or a tunnel, you'll want to be quick with the mode button and the window switches. 